Okay, well, that's great. So I think we've just got maybe time for one last question, just really around um, how someone's asked, how difficult is it to come back to academia from industry? Um, has anybody, I mean, once I, once I left, um, I, I left, although I do go uh, and give some careers talks in universities um, about making the transition. So I do go back to, 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 to universities, but just, just for a careers purpose. But um, anyone got any insights just around, um, you know, how, how easy is it to make that transition back? Um, well, I guess it kind of depends on what you define as, as academia. I mean, um, so I was in, in online marketing, then I worked for a digital agency, and now I'm in academic publishing. So I'm, I'm kind of closer to, um, to academia. Um, and for me, um, this actually has, has worked quite well because, um, so I did something completely different after, after my PhD. It had like working for an, for an e-commerce startup had really um, nothing to do with uh, the research I'd done um, before, but I learned um, a lot about, about, you know, digital communication, marketing uh, and things like that. And those things I learned there allowed me to, um, get into the position um, I, I am now, which is an online marketing manager for an academic publisher. So for instance, um, as, or that would be one example of how you can sort of transition um, mm. back towards um, academia. I mean, it's not, um, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a professor now, but um, I sort of, I'm sort of closer to, um, to the topics and to the world um, I, I came from when I, when I started out. Mm. And, um, so yeah, I that's think there's, example. yeah. I mean, do you, do you actually use, Pablo, your, your, the academic knowledge that you acquired? Is that useful for you when you're looking to commission publications? Um, well, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm in marketing and I'm, I'm not an editor, so um, I don't really do much on the, on the um, commissioning side. But of course, we also, we also um, put out um, titles in, in history and in the humanities. Uh, and so that definitely, I mean, the understanding I have of those disciplines def definitely helps me um, in sort of marketing titles or marketing products that we have um, in, those, um, in those disciplines. So, and also for, um, also for securing this position, um, I mean, um, I noticed when I applied for the job that um, people with this specific skill set are quite rare on the job market. You know, people okay. that have academic experience, experience in research and experience in online marketing. So, um, and that was something that came up during the, um, during my application is that um, this is something that um, employers uh, really value. So um, whatever the way is you, um, you sort of take, um, I think the skills you acquire are gonna help you with, um, with moving on to, towards other positions. That's fantastic, well thanks. Um, I've just got one eye on the time, I think we're just moving into the last five minutes now. Um, so what I'd like to do is just ask each of the panel members if you can just give me um, what's something that you would really take away from, like a little nugget that you could take away from today, um, or a sort of top tip that you'd like to share um, just as we, as we close. So Katie, have you got something there? Yes, but I'm going to steal my top tip from others um, because okay. we surveyed former research staff across Europe um, who had moved out of academia and they said that they recommend that you be brave and be confident in making your move. Um, as other panelists have already said, you know, it's the door doesn't necessarily close behind you um, and your first move out is not the only job you'll ever have. So be brave and be confident and make your move. Lovely, thank you for that. Um, Lee? I'd say yeah, a few things. One, do your research, that's for sure. In, in doing that, use your network. It, it's invaluable. And when you apply for positions, make sure they're relevant. Make sure it's specific to the company, specific to the role. Um, it's very, very important. It makes you stand out. Right, lovely, thank you for that. And uh, Arathi? Um, yeah, I would just say that start from day one. So as important as your content, so is your presentation. So not just presentation of, of your results or your research, but also of yourself. So maintaining a good uh, public profile of yourself and your research and just being proactive. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so Pablo. Um, yeah, so I guess my, my final tip would be 
you know, stay positive and and don't lose hope when because I, I remember that the the transition phase, especially for the first job, it, it was a tough time because at at some point I thought, okay, I'm this is horrible. I'm never going to find a decent job, and um, I think that's something that's um, fairly common uh, among people uh, just finishing their PhD, um, but it's also common that it's just a phase. So um, the first job maybe isn't going to be super great, but it's going to get you started. And um, I th in most cases, it's going to improve from there. So um, just be stay aware of the fact that um, this, is, this is just uh, a phase and it's going to get better. Yeah, I think that's, that's absolutely key is that, uh, you know, things, things are going to improve. Uh, and that's, that's without a doubt. So well, thanks very much um, to the panel for, um, for sharing those top tips. Um, just to say to everyone listening in, um, for more careers advice, articles, ebooks, and other resources, you can go to the jobs.ac.uk website and look at the careers advice section. Um, the recording of this event will be available, posted up on the jobs.ac.uk website. And I'm sure those of us who've, who've taken part will be um, sending it. We can promote it and send out the link. Um, but take a look at the, at the YouTube channel, uh, too, of jobs.ac.uk. So I'd just like to conclude by thanking everybody, uh, the, five, uh, the four members of the panel, for um, their time today and all their sort of uh, their generous insights uh, and everything that they've, they've contributed. And um, just to say thank you, too, for watching. And um, I think I'll leave you with that final piece of advice. Um, be proactive. Thanks very much.